Hello, it's Devin Stone, and thanks for being here today. I'm not going to take up much of your time. I think this is going to be pretty quick. I'm just talking off of my head, basically, so please bear with me. What are some of the things that you think that you should have in place before having a child? Let's just say that you're 18 years old. Um, there's certain things that I think, especially, of course, being a man, that you should have in place or at least try to have in place before you go on and bring in someone else into this world that you're going to be responsible for. One, you should make sure that you have a good education. Minimum, graduate in high school. Minimum. I'm not a big advocate for college. I don't think everybody needs to go there, but you should at least finish high school. Right? And if you didn't finish high school, make sure that you're doing something constructive in order to make some kind of money to support yourself. Two, you need to be responsible, right? You need to be responsible in making decisions because you're gonna be having someone to take care of that you're responsible for. Three, you need to make sure that you have at least, being in the United States, I'm gonna say at least $20,000 saved in the bank and you have your own place to rest your head or the ability to have your own place to rest your head because you're going to be bringing someone else into your personal space and you're going to need to buy certain things for that child. Get a crib or to get um, clothing, um, doctor's visit, I think. It's something like $20,000 just to deliver a child, a hospital, if you don't have insurance, it's, it's about $20,000 just to deliver a child. And you do not want your backup to be that you could have the government pay for this. This is something, it's, it's your responsibility. This is something that you need to have in place. Another thing, I mean, this is not in order. I would say you should be married, all right? Having a child out of wedlock is not the best thing for you and it's certainly not the best thing for your child. I did not do that do it that way because I didn't have all the proper information and growing up is just not something that I thought about but after um, with, 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 with knowledge of things comes a certain degree of wisdom and it might not be the most fun thing to do it's, it's way more fun to be around enjoying yourself, doing things that single people do. Um, I've been there. But when you start thinking about the economic cost of the decisions that you make, you become to realize that the boring way of life many times is the best way of life. I was a person that was all into excitement and having a lot of fun and you know, enjoying myself. I'm not saying for people not to enjoy themselves, but you have to be very responsible, especially when it is that you're having a child come into this world. Make sure that your finances are good. I was speaking to someone, and, you know, it's, it's an older guy, and it's somebody who um, I value what they say, right? And he had said to me one time, man, I hate seeing young kids young women with babies at the bus stop. And I didn't get it. I was like, what the hell are you talking about, man? They, they, they have to get around, all right? And he said, no, what you don't understand is that if she's getting on the bus, it's very hard to get a stroller on a city bus or on a train, right? She doesn't have, or, or the guy or whoever it is who's bringing the baby around doesn't have the financial ability to have certain safeguards for their child, i.e. a car, a car seat, all right, in order to have a mode of transportation to get around. And I looked at it, and I was one of those people. I was one of those people who was getting around on a bus for a short period of time, and it was very difficult. Um, but the reason why I was traveling on a bus is because I had school loans to pay off, and I had a car that I was paying, um, that I was financing, and in order for me to pay off that car in a short period, period of time and, and to finish paying off for my, for my, um, my schooling, 
I decided to sell the car so I could use the money that I was making in order to pay off for my school loan. So it's just something that I've been thinking about. Make sure that you have certain things in order to be best able to support the children that you're bringing into this world because it's not cheap. Even if you have $20,000, it's not a lot of money, right? Especially when you have a child because things are gonna happen, right? You're gonna wanna probably go on vacation and show people your child that you just had, you know what I'm saying? And don't depend on no shower or none of that foolishness for people to come and give you gifts, right? Make sure that you don't need a shower. I'm not saying don't have one, but make sure that you have resources available where even if no one brought a gift to your baby shower, right, you can afford to buy things for your child. And of course, baby showers help a great deal, but don't use it as a crutch to get things. I'm just saying 20000 as a minimum because babysitters are very expensive, especially if you live in the city or if you don't have family that can help you. you you're talking about some people for the week pay over a thousand dollars just for babysitting so if you're a person that you know are, is not financially stable you're gonna have problems just imagine paying rent for two thousand and then babysitter for one thousand you have your car to um that you're financing with, with insurance let's just say that's that's a thousand that's over three thousand dollars and some people are not even getting paid that kind of money per month in order to take care of their child so you want to have some kind of cushion so that no matter what comes at you you're able to take care of it because kids are certainly not cheap and god forbid if something happens where you're not living with the mother of your child things could get exponentially more expensive for you especially if the government gets involved with your affairs so be careful of the decision that you're making choose the person that you're having a kid with or you choose to marry very carefully some of us know more about the cars do more research about the cars that we're gonna be driving than we know about the person that we're sleeping with this is why it's very important to be married right because you take more things into consideration when you're getting married to someone all right and it shouldn't take you forever to figure out if you want to get married to someone all right six months to a year boom it's not that difficult if you can't get along with a person six months to a year just leave it's not a big deal right but don't get yourself tangled up with them especially when it comes to having a child and don't move nobody into your house and don't be the kind of guy that's saving no woman from whatever it is that they're going through. Let them go through their stuff by themselves. Let them get over whatever barrier it is that they need to get over by themselves. Because I tell you right now, you can be the best person and go and help someone, but when shit hit the fan, no one remembers that you were the person who helped them in their time of need. And don't tell no woman that you're not married to how much money you make. That could be detrimental for your financial future because not everybody is there for you. Some people are there for a come up. They want things from you. So be very careful about things like that also. Do things the right way, which might not be the most fun way, the most exciting way, but try to do things in a, in a fashion that is gonna set you up for success in the future. Don't be the kind of guy that has his wife on the bus with your child or on the train, try to have proper things in place so that she can travel in a more safe way. That's it for now. Later. Have a nice day. Thanks for joining.